welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I fit a piece of vinyl to this ensuite. Now this ensuite was part of the bedroom so what they did is they basically grabbed a bit of the bedroom, rolled the carpet back and uh, built this ensuite. So as you can see the carpet's been rolled back, there's the underlay so later on I have to put all that back but we're just going to focus on the vinyl today. So we get our trusty scraper out because you know the plaster has done his thing and plastered the floor more than the walls as they do and they've got loads of filler all over the floor as well the guy with the silicones wiped all his silicon all over the floor as they do um, so yeah we got to get this all nice and clean I would love to have put hardboard or even ply down to make a better finish but the customer was happy with just the chipboard even though it's been sliced and diced as you can see on the floor but hey ho we got to do what the customer says So now we're all scraped, we gotta give it all a good sweep. So we've gotta make sure we go round the edges and get right in underneath. That's some grouting left on the bottom of the tiles. So we're gonna get that out and get rid of it. And we need to give it all a good sweep so we don't have anything underneath this vinyl because if we do even the smallest bit of grit will look like a mountain so i've missed a few bits that's why i like to get the dustpan and brush because you're right down on it and you can see if you've missed anything that you need to scrape give it all a good scraping And when I sweep, I make sure I sweep it all into a corner because if you sweep into a corner, it can't escape. So if you sweep into the middle of a room, bits will fly off in all different directions. But if you sweep into a corner, it won't go anywhere. It's contained. Now, for the spray adhesive. Now this spray adhesive we put around the edge before we put the tape on and the reason we put it down is it will kill the dust and it will give the double-sided tape something to stick to because if you've ever tried using like even normal sellotape and if you stick some sellotape to something that's dusty you know yourself it will not stick. So this is like a primer, if you like. So it primes the floor for the double-sided tape. So we go around the edge wherever we need the double-sided tape. This is an old tin so it's I'm struggling a little bit getting the spray out in a nice even coat but we persist if 
we don't go crazy with the spray we just spray it the width of the tape because we don't want the spray to be over the width because spray can eat into the back of the vinyl so now we have the double sided tape here it is they call it double sided tape because it's sticky on the bottom and it has sort of like a coating on top that you peel off and then it's sticky as well so both sides are sticky hence double sided So we put it on the floor and we get it nice and close to the edge. And make sure you rub it all down because there's nothing like peeling it up and then, well, peeling the top layer off and then the bottom bit comes up because you haven't pushed it down enough. That's always a pain. I always like to cut it with a knife. Some people rip it. It doesn't matter. Now it's time to lay it out. So here's the piece of vinyl. Now vinyl can easily rip and tear. Well, it depends on really the uh, quality of the vinyl. If it's a nice thick one, it's less likely to than a really thin one. But you always gotta be careful. You gotta use kid gloves when you're pushing out vinyl. And you don't want to crease it either. Creases are a pain to get out. You can get them out. You just lick it over with a nice heat gun. But when I say lick, I mean just slight brush over with a heat. Not too close because you can melt it. We just take our time try and get it laid out so it's big everywhere all around and now we're going to measure off the shower tray to the joints in the wood just make sure it's nice and straight we picked the shower tray because it was the sort of like longest and when you walk into the room it's right in front of you so it's sort of like they call it the focal point so it's the it's the bit you look in to the room with so I'm just gonna relieve some tension in the doorway got to be careful with those cuts because it can easily rip if there's too much tension on the vinyl. Now I'm finding the center of the loop. I'll follow that down to the base so that's in the very center of the loop. Just cutting it down, just making it be easier to manage. So what I do mine before I pull any tape off. Just 
exposed in the corners now. Right, so this corner, what we do is we fold it, push it right in. What we get? Push it right into the corner, get it right down, and then we pull it up. We keep our eye right on the exact point it was touching the corner. And we take that piece completely out, and it fits right down there. Same as my carpet video. There's a carpet video, one previous to this, show you how to do fit carpets. All right, so now what we're doing is relieving tension on the loo. So we're just gonna go down. And work our way around and putting it in slits. Don't want to go too far around because those slits can easily rip if we mess around on this far corner for too long and we put any pressure on the other slits if they rip Another corner piece, we fold it and push it right into the corner. We keep our eye on it. Put the blade in and just take that whole corner out. another way of doing it so you can stop the bottom and work your way up you're not going to cut the loo the loo ceramic so <laughs> you'll be fine with that I'm just cutting the excess off the extra bits on the side of the loo So once you're happy with all your cutting down, so all the corners and then all the tension sort of released out of it and it's cut down, then it's time to take the tape off. So the place I like to start with is around the loo. So this is a pain, you have to get your nail in there, but most of the time I like to use the blade. So this is the top bit of the tape, like I was telling you earlier. Let me peel that off. And the way I've cut this on this angle is my new way of doing it. So you can cut it and bend the tape and cut it. So it will pull up the corner of the next piece. So 
now the tape's been pulled off, it's time to push it out. So I would like to start in the middle and push it out towards the loo. Get that all on and firm and then push away from the loo. But what we're not doing is we're not stretching the vinyl, we're not pushing it really hard, we're just trying to push the bubbles out. We're not super hard on the floor because some vinyls, especially the cheaper versions of vinyls, can stretch and we don't want that. But equally we don't want to not push out the bubbles because you start seeing ripples and even when you walk on it it can bubble up if you haven't pushed it out properly so I did find a bit of crud what was underneath there so you can feel it These are the hardest corners to cut, the ones that are down beside the loo. This loo's not too bad, I mean, it's far enough away from the wall to get down it. I mean, I have seen loos and had to fit up the side of the loo so we could beg, get your hand up the side of it. You then fit it around loos that the loo was actually, the top of the loo was touching the wall. This is a hook knife, so the actual blade is hooked. These are the blades that we normally use with vinyls. So because there was a gap underneath these tiles, I could cut it slightly big and push it under. Try and give you a better angle. There you go. Of the blade. Okay. Now we go with a straight. You can see that extra bit of grout in. bottom where it touches the floor that has to be taken out so I use a straight for that and hook knife goes in and comes towards me you couldn't really go all the way up and into the corner I mean you can get quite close with those blades or those knives because there's quite small knives compared to some people's knives trying to give you it's very hard with cameras I'm trying to position it to show you how the blade works I wasn't very successful with that shot Now that's a better angle. So this customer didn't want any silicone. So I tried to get as much as I could underneath the toilet and under the tiles as you saw.
straight blade's pretty good for poking it down and fixing any little bits that have gone underneath any cuts. Alright, so this blade, that's the hook, and what you want to do is you want to bend that very end piece against what you're cutting. As you can see, it bends. And that's how you do you run it along screens or toilets and you bend that very end piece and it will follow the wall it will follow anything and the reason why you don't just cut away or in a straight line because walls aren't 100 percent straight screens aren't straight they never are they're all over the place so if you put that pressure on it it will follow every little in and out that wall or toilet would make and if you want to leave some more on it to tuck underneath things you just hold your knife higher on the skirting the lower it is the shorter it would be the higher up the skirting the more you have there but it will still follow exactly the same shape but the higher it is the more access you will have the more vinyl you have to poke underneath or if it has no if it's right to the floor and there's no gap underneath it you take it right down to the the, the floor and you do that bend and it will cut it perfectly for you like to run my hand getting any bits of the backing that sticks to the wall So as you can see, there's actually overspray on this panel. And uh, the bits of backing are sticking to it. So later on, when you see me clean it off.
So now we're all done, and this is what it looks like at the end. Like I said, the customer didn't want any silicon. Normally, I silicon white along uh, all the white bits, obviously. Um, but mostly, the toilet definitely always gets silicon, and the bath panel or shower tray 100% gets silicon, but they didn't want any of it. But there you go. And the carpet, as you saw, was all black and a nice shiny door bar. If you got anything from this video, please subscribe. Um, it really helps. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.